Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in our previous video, I already discussed in detail about Kafka consumer group. That is, if you just recall this particular diagram here, we are having multiple producers. That producers are continuously producing the data in our Kafka topic in different partitions. They are writing the data. And if the producer message writing speed is very high, and in the consumer side, if we are having only one consumer, and that consumer is getting the responsibility of consuming the messages from all the partitions and process it, then obviously there is a huge possibility that this particular consumer will be overloaded and it will be lagging in the processing of the messages because it is alone which is processing the messages, but in the producer side, multiple producers might be producing. Okay. So producer side throughput is very high, whereas consumer side message processing is very slow. So eventually your system will be lagging and lagging. Okay, more and more lag will start happening, right? So to avoid that particular issue, we brought the concept of consumer group, where within a particular group, which is having a specific group ID, we can launch multiple consumers. Okay, and I told you that those consumers within the same consumer group can distribute their work within themselves. Like for example, in this particular picture, if within our consumer group there are two consumers, then consumer 1 might be consuming the messages from partition 0 and partition 2 and consumer 2 will consume from partition 1 and partition 3. Okay, so whenever a new consumer spin up within a particular consumer group, then rebalancing happens, right? So that way, the Kafka itself will map one particular partition processing responsibility to any one of the consumer among the multiple consumers in the consumer group. Okay, but if you observe this particular architecture, one thing is clear that from one particular partition, only one consumer can read the message. It might happen that one particular consumer is consuming messages from multiple partition, but it is not possible in Kafka that from one particular partition, multiple consumers are consuming the messages. Okay. So if you see this particular diagram, this is basically saturation level. If you are having four partitions, then maximum you can launch four consumer so that individual one consumer will be consuming messages from one partition okay right and suppose you are launching one more consumer then based on this particular rule this consumer will be empty because in kafka it is not allowed that from one particular partition multiple consumers are consuming the messages okay that's what we discussed earlier and we came up with this particular point that we have to keep in mind that there is no point in adding more consumers than you have number of partitions in a topic okay some of the consumers will be sitting ideal if you are having more consumers than number of partitions in a particular topic okay now the question comes why kafka don't allow multiple consumers consuming messages from same partition that's the question okay let us try to understand that in today's video okay so suppose we are currently in this particular situation we are having a topic which is having four partitions and we are having a consumer group where there are five consumers. And as per earlier discussion, it is obvious that any of a particular consumer will be sitting ideal, right? Because partition zero might be tagged to one consumer, partition one will be tagged to another consumer, partition two will be tagged to another consumer, partition three will be tagged to another consumer. So one partition, one consumer mapping will happen. So another consumer will be empty. Now the question comes, why this situation cannot happen in Kafka? What is the problem if we are having this kind of situation? Like from the same partition, one consumer is consuming and another consumer is consuming from the same partition. Okay, try to understand why it is not possible. So first of all, why we brought the concept of consumer group? Just to make load balancing kind of implementation in the consumer side, right? So that at least in the consumer side, the processing of messages from the topic will be little bit in a higher speed. It will happen, right? Now, suppose... You are having this particular partition and here multiple segments are there. I already discussed that within a particular Kafka broker, you have multiple topics. Within topics, you have multiple partitions. Within partitions, you have multiple segments, right? Now, suppose for partition 3, we are having multiple segments. And suppose in an ideal situation, if it is possible, consumer 4 and consumer 5, both are consuming messages from partition 3, okay? Now, within the partition, the messages are arranged in segments with offsets okay now suppose from offset 0 to offset 4096 those messages our consumer 4 has picked up for processing purpose okay now whenever consumer consume the message from any partition along with the payload 
it has the offset number also. So consumer 4, when it is consuming the offset 0 to offset 4096 from this particular partition 3, it know that I have already consumed up to 4096. So next time if I poll, I should start from 4097 offset to the next set of messages, right? But suppose the consumer 5 is also consuming fr from same partition, what problem will happen? That is, this consumer 4 has already picked up offset 0 to offset 4096. Now, this consumer 5 don't know that, right? So, this consumer also when parallelly in a parallel thread, it will try to consume the messages from offset 0 to 4096. That time, the consumer 5 will also get the same messages what the consumer 4 got, okay? And that way, for the same messages, multiple time processing is happening. And that is not load balancing or that is not parallel processing. Parallel processing does not mean that different workers are doing same computation. Parallel processing means a bigger work is split into multiple small small works and different small small works are done by different different workers. It is not like same part of a bigger work is done by multiple workers, right? But in this particular case, if we are having multiple consumers consuming from same partition, then obviously we can see that there is a possibility that whatever this consumer 4 has picked up what offset range another consumer which is consuming from same partition can pick up the same offset range and that way the reprocessing of same message will happen and that is not for which consumer group concept was introduced consumer group was introduced for load balancing so that multiple consumer will process different chunk of messages right so that's why in a parallel thread if you consider from same partition if different consumer try to consume messages that is not going good okay that is a problem okay so you understood the issue with load balancing now let's consider another scenario where we are having this particular situation and suppose in an ideal situation we made some configuration where we said that this consumer 4 and consumer 5 will run parallelly but one particular part of our partition will be consumed by consumer 4 and another part will be consumed by consumer 5 okay now both are consuming parallelly okay now suppose this particular kafka topic is for a banking domain suppose you were a customer who has added a amount of money in your banking system okay and after that you withdrawn b amount of money from your same bank account right so if you consider this particular situation then in your app first the amount should be shown that a amount is added then it should be showing that B amount is deducted, right? It cannot be shown like this so that B amount is deducted and then A amount is added, right? So basically what I mean to say that the processing order is important here, okay? And among different partitions, the processing order is not maintained only within a particular partition, the processing order is maintained, right? So in this kind of banking related case, what we do, suppose customer is having a unique account number, so on top of that account number we apply hashing maybe for example that account number mod 3 we are applying and then whatever remainder we are getting based on that remainder result we are deciding to which partition data has to be written so that if one customer is adding some amount in a particular account and then reducing some amount from the same account then all these events will be going to same partition so if a amount is added after applying this particular hashing it is going to partition 2 then if b amount is deducted it will also go to partition 2 okay and this deduction event will be there with higher offset compared to this particular event when a amount was added okay that means if the messages are processed by any consumer the processing will happen such way that the event with lower offset value that is addition of money that will process first and then app it will be displaying first that a amount is added and then the event with b amount deduction will be processed and that way it will be showing that b amount is deducted from the app okay like that so here within a particular partition the processing order is guaranteed okay but suppose we are having a, this kind of situation where two different consumers are consuming from same partition and we have kind of splitted our payloads or offsets such way that one particular range of offset will be consumed by consumer 4 and another particular offset range will be consumed by consumer 5 now if they are consuming messages parallelly then we cannot guarantee the order of execution okay might be the consumer 5 is consuming the deduction of money event first okay and then it is deducting the b amount from your database and then it is showing in the front end application okay 
so you will see that b amount is deducted first and then suppose in this particular parallel thread when consumer 4 has consumed the event for a amount money addition it is adding that and showing in your app okay so that is not a good customer experience right in what order you are doing transaction in the same order it should be displayed in the front end right so in this case also we are seeing a problem so earlier we faced one issue that there can be possibility of reprocessing of same message okay if we somehow overcome that particular issue and if we introduce some mechanism that one offset range will be consumed by one particular consumer and another offset range will be consumed by another consumer in parallel thread then also there are some situations where message ordering is important and that way only execution should happen right but in this case that message processing will not be in proper order and that will be a violation of our norms right so that's why in Kafka, there is no functionality using which multiple consumers can consume from same partition at the same time. Okay, right. Maybe if one consumer is down, then this particular consumer start consuming the message from partition 3 by rebalancing. Okay, right. So I hope you understood this particular point, which is a very important question also in interview. Why Kafka don't allow multiple consumers per partition? Okay. So this is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.